Ed, live from New York. Welcome, I'm Ed. And I'm Bruce. You found us. I don't know how you did it, but we're here every Great day. to see you this morning. <laughs> every weekday, Monday through Friday, we are here for you. Yes. And, um, and by the way, in case you didn't know it, you can open another tab and check your email and do other things. You don't have to sit here and watch us. You can just listen. We're, um, you know, we can just talk in the background, you know, like the radio on or something like that. But anyway... I know everybody, I mean, most people know that, but some people in their, you know, just are not that techno savvy. They think they have to sit there and watch the video, but you can actually just uh, minimize it, go into another tab and do something else, do your email. By the way, the reason I have my phone on, <laughs> people have asked, why do you have your phone ringing during the show? The reason is because we're monitoring Twitter Live. This is a live show. So we're broadcasting live on Ustream. If you go to breadtv.com, B-R-E-D-T-V.com, that's where we live. And you can go to Ustream and uh, refresh there, and it should be live. Oh, switch to the normal broadcaster. Oh, that's what happened. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's live. Go to breadtv.com and click on the watch live, and you'll be able to see us live. And you can tweet to us during the show. There's a chat room on Ustream, of course. And there's also a, um, a live uh, uh, Twitter. We're following Twitter live. So when you're um, in Twitter, you can send a, a chat to, or what do you call it, a, an at reply to at bread chat, and right. we will see it live. Chat, uh, an at reply, or you can chat on the Ustream. Ustream has its own chat room as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So let's see. Um, we wanted to... Uh, tell, tell you that today's episode is sponsored by Arvix Web Hosting and Dropbox and Mountain Rose Herbs. We'll tell you more about them later. Mm -hmm. And today's, uh, we have a, a great co-host. Her name is Carla Lynn Hall. She's a singer, songwriter, and music marketing consultant. And she's live with us today from Washington Heights, New York which is just up the street and uh you want to bring her on the screen carla are you there yes i am there you are. hello good morning <laughs> hello good morning good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. i like to see the the big the big picture great <laughs> welcome <laughs> welcome welcome thank you thanks for having me so what's been going on in your world carla <laughs> I have been just performing lately. Um, musically, it's been just a—it's been a great year. It's already June, and um, yeah, it is June, right? Yeah. Um, it's already <laughs> June, and and I've been—I've just been a performing fool, just lots of gigs, and um, just having a great time. Terrific, terrific. That's awesome. You're, we've uh, we went to see um, In the Heights last night for the second time. And oh, I love that show. Oh, the second time, yeah. We when did we see it? The first time was like yeah. four months ago or something. Yeah, we saw it a while back. And uh, that's so much fun. And we were talking earlier about how you live in Washington Heights, and that's kind of what it's all about, and all around. So we we got to get you to see that because uh, it's all about the neighborhood. It's really, really a beautiful story. There's so many different stories that are interwoven, and the music is fantastic. El barrio, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous, and all the you know all the uh, ethnic groups that are they're all living together in this one tight community it's very interesting very interesting i wonder is it like that still we'll have to, we're gonna have to go and visit you and see <laughs> or what is it very mixed i think is what everyone, everyone says go ahead it's, it's a very diverse neighborhood here yeah very diverse yeah. <laughs> but still predominantly spanish or Yes, mostly uh, Dominican. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, uh, well, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, one of my friends that came with us yesterday, she said that it was primarily Dominican, the, the actual show uh, in the Heights, 
and then now they've uh, made it very um, international. So they have Puerto Rican, Cuban, and Mexican, um, which they probably did before, but uh, she might have not noticed, so I'm not exactly sure. Uh, so they put all the different uh, Latino you know, groups in there. But it was a great show. We enjoyed ourselves. and um, They bring up a lot of issues, a lot of different... You know, that's what I like about it is the humanity and the real life things that situations and dilemmas mm -hmm. and things that there's so many different stories going on at the same time. It's very cool. It's yeah. a great, great show. Not to mention, I mean, the singing and the dancing is a Broadway show. Yeah. But, um, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, but the stories are fantastic. Yeah. So we were on your website last night and we were um, uh, downloading some of the, the samples of your cuts and we love it. And as soon as I heard it, the very first one, I said, it, I said to him, it reminds me, uh, you remind me of um, uh, India Ari, right? And then I was reading yes. some of the reviews and people said, and other people said the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes, yes. That mellow is that, sound. Uh, is that where you get some of your inspiration or, or where do you get your inspiration mm -hmm. for your music? Mm -hmm. Well, not, I mean, I, I am inspired, I am definitely inspired by India Ari, but I wouldn't say she's my primary inspiration. Who's your primary inspiration? Um, I have met her, though. Oh, yeah? I'm sorry? How, who, who would you say is your primary inspiration? Or just directly, wow. divinely inspired, right? <laughs> Gosh, there's so many. There's so <laughs> many. Um, like Sade, I suppose, is a big oh, yeah. influence. Yeah, I, um, I also like a lot of male singers, like um, like Jeff Buckley. A lot of people like Jeff Buckley too. Um, there's another uh, songwriter by the name of David Ryan Harris that I like a lot. He's not necessarily as well known, but uh, he's just a great songwriter, and I'm, I'm very inspired by him. There's so many. I, I feel like there's so many little inspirations that kind of make up my sound, and even if you can identify when you hear my music. Um, they're they're still in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, how would you describe your music like to our guests? Oh, okay. Audio, well, I usually um, <laughs> one description of my music that is that is sort of uh, stood the test of time is Nora Jones meets Sade for tea on their way to visit the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, because. Because it's not all like that. There, you have a variety. Yeah. Some of it sounds very, um, almost like country, country twang. Yes. And some of it yes. sounds like, um, uh, what would you yeah. say, like smooth, um, jazzy, smooth, jazzy, and, like, uh, and yeah, very interesting variety. Very, I know? love the that whole. Oh, I like anything that's like real mellow, but I uh, jazzy, and yeah. I, I like that your music is very nice. Yeah. So Thank you, thanks. we were at your website. So it's CarlaLynnHall.com. Let me spell it: C A R L A L Y N N E. Wait, wait. Oh, I, <laughs> I, got it wrong. I don't use that one as the main site as oh, much what's anymore. Your main site? What's the main site? Although you, you can you can definitely listen to um, uh, their samples at yeah. CarlaLynnHall.com. Yeah, but I will be I... changing that site. Oh. The site that I really like to use the most is Rockstar Life Lessons. Oh, let me write that. Let me let me check it out. Rockstar, Rockstar Life Lessons. Uh huh. Dot dot com. com. Rockstar Life Lessons. Dot com. Oh, I spelled it wrong. You have to spell it right. It doesn't work if you mm -hmm. don't spell it right. I learned that a long time. Okay, Rockstar Life Lessons. Oh, cool. All right. And what nice. is that about? It's your blog. It's everything. Yes, that's my look, blog. Look, MP3. Wow, videos, it looks very videos. nice. Cool. Oh, there you are. My content mail system. In video and everything. <laughs> nice. The, um, well, I was going to say, on the other side, I noticed that you've got an announcement. August 25th, you're going to be no, that at was the... No, 2006. Oh, no, that's old. That's why. I'm reading something <laughs> old. Well, I was going to say, that's okay. so cool, though, because it was a, um, a fundraiser for the organization Songs of Love. Do you still do those? Um, I haven't done them recently, but I oh. but I do. Um, oh. I've written songs for Songs of Love, and I've also done different fundraisers for them. Oh, they, uh, so songs of You want to uh, explain what creates, that is all about? Oh, sure. Uh, songs of Love 
uh, they create personalized songs for children and teens with uh, chronic and life-threatening illnesses. Yeah. So we've written like personalized songs for a particular child, and it's it's just really powerful. Yeah, and they're per you know what it is they're personalized. So you put their name and a few details about them in there, right? And do you get to meet these people or no? No, I haven't. Um, I some people might have, but I, I haven't been able to. But uh, mm -hmm. it's just enough, you know, at least to know that that I'm writing something that is going to affect a child, and sometimes that's you know that's probably even more meaningful than than have a song that's this big hit that thousands and millions of people have heard but you know that you're making a difference to yeah. this one child who you know really appreciates hearing the song about them absolutely yeah i love that idea because especially a little child when they hear when they hear a song they they think of a you know the radio or something but when they hear their <laughs> name in it and maybe do they put a little details about them something something yeah. personal about them in there yeah their dog's name or something <laughs> I, that's yeah. really really special and it's a it's awesome that you can really um affect you know uh, the joy of a child in that situation with something so you know so s relatively simple it doesn't cost money necessarily to sit there and use your talent for that i think that's a wonderful thing yeah it's great that's beautiful and it, um is there any particular reason why you chose children or well the organization does this uh -huh. for children don't they it's especially, especially See, for I, children, right? Well, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's children, it's children and teens for the and most teens, part. Yeah, it impacts um, them more, you know, because they're like I'm mesmerized. I, I, like, I'm not really sure how I actually even hooked up with that organization. <laughs> I they might have come to me first or something. I'm not sure. I, and and then I did a few songs, and then I just really got into it. Oh, oh, I remember now. I remember now. <laughs> I had. I performed the show, and David Lee Roth. Do you remember David Lee Roth from oh, Van yeah. Halen? Yeah. Well, he did um, a performance with a group that I was performing in, and um, what did they do? Oh, and he he donated his entire donation, the, the money that they gave him. He donated it to Songs of Love, and then I I wanted to know who is Songs of Love. Oh. So um. Yes. Yeah. And then after that, and I started to get involved with them as well. Nice, um, nice. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I'd heard about. I don't remember if I heard about it from that or from Oprah or somewhere, but I, similarly, I heard about that organization. Yeah, I recently I, heard about it in the uh, the Daily News here, the local broadcast. They were making, uh, you know, talking about different songwriters writing songs for these special needs children. Yeah, it's a beautiful yes. thing. So what about your hair? I love what about your my hair. hair. <laughs> I love your hair. Not to change the subject, but let's talk hair. <laughs> I, I'm looking at your vlog and I just love that. I love the pictures. Who's Thank taking you. the picture? The, your picture on Twitter is the best. Let me bring it up. Let me see if I can bring Thank it up. Thank you. <laughs> Who took that? It's, uh, it's the back of my CD. Like I, oh, like that's what I thought. That I was going to say that looks like a CD cover. If it's not, it should be. How do I bring this up here? Um, let me, uh, I'm going to bring up your Twitter. Sure. Let's see. Um, but the, the picture on your blog, uh, let's see. And I have to spell it, the whole thing. L-Y-N-H-A-L-L. Mm -hmm. -L. Did I do it right? There. No, I didn't. Wait, Carla Lynn Hall. Is that your Twitter? There yeah. you are, there you are. Yeah, yeah, yes. there you are. There you are, okay. Now, if I, could, I think if I click on the picture, oh no, it's telling me I have to log in. Do you, do you uh, shake your head a lot during your performances? Is that why I you... Do. <laughs> I do. I, yeah, because it's there. I can't help it. <laughs> uh, well, Ed does the same you thing. You work it. <laughs> Ed does the same thing. It's that, to that hair toss when you don't have t hair that's a little weird. <laughs> but... <laughs> 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 but you've got there now. How long is it? Um, it's about it's about to my ass now. <laughs> yeah. There, yeah, there we go. That, that beyond. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I'm great. talking about. It looks a little stretched on the widescreen here, but look at that. I love that. And you have the headphones on. It looks like 
rays of light. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? Those Egyptian yeah. sun sun things, you know, where they have the, um, the, you know, the sun with all the rays coming out of it. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So cool. Radiating. That's you. That's you. That's me. You're radiating. You are a radiating ball of light and sun. Speaking of lights, every time we, every time we see you, you're always smiling so brightly. Yes. Oh, thank you, Ed. <laughs> and that uh, that uh, I can see that you were smiling brightly on Twitter last month when you won a Motorola Droid. Tell us how did yeah. that happen? How did that happen? Sure. I had to buy mine. Well, I was on. Um, well, I was on Twitter and I saw someone retweet something from Moto Mobile, which is um, which is the Motorola Twitter account. Oh yeah. And they were they said something like, if you didn't get to you know if you didn't get to celebrate Mother's Day, you know celebrate with us and win a free a free Android. And um, and basically they asked for people to send pictures with themselves and their mothers. Oh, yeah. to, to tweak to that and um, I submitted a picture that I had of my of me and my mom and um, and it won oh, oh nice. that's great and your mom where does she live well actually my mom my mom died a few years ago so oh. she lives in my heart <laughs> oh nice that's that's even more special that's yeah cool. yeah actually it was I was like I, I kind of I kind of feel like she helped me win from beyond, you know? Oh, yeah. Of course she did, yeah. Yeah, my, That's I, beautiful. My, I, my mother and my father both have had their transition. I still mm -hmm. actually have, um, if you can believe this, I have audio cassettes of my mother that speaking because uh -huh. she used to she used to she, <laughs> she was like it, the technology geek of you know of uh of her day i guess in a way she was very sophisticated she would use audio cassettes to write letters so she would record her voice as a letter and then mail the cassette tapes you know and i have some that nobody's ever heard before and i haven't even heard them yet so are, are you good I'm going to listen to them. I, you know, I just didn't want to, I wanted to wait. I, I thought it will mean more later. But now it's time. I've got to, I've got to actually get them off those cassettes and put them on MP3s and preserve <laughs> them forever. But digitize them. I've got to digitize them and that's going to be a project. But it's kind of one that I've, you know, partly procrastinated and partly it's just like to bring yourself to do it. It's, it's very emotional, you know, to hear, imagine. Imagine finding a box uh, full of cassette tapes of your mother talking to you that you've never heard before now, you know what I mean? Because this was, we, you know, she had her transition in 97. That's a long time ago. So I, I knew it would mean more to all of us later, you know, even the longer we waited. So I've kind of waited. I, I still haven't heard them yet, but we, we still have them here. But I, we've got to do it before they end up getting lost or yeah. damaged, you know. So... Mm -hmm. That's going to be a project. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, back to the, so how do you like your Motorola Droid? Let's talk technology. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I, I haven't, I haven't um, activated it yet, oh. but, um, but I'm very excited. I, I did, I made a video about it though, about receiving it because, oh. um, they, because I just received it actually. They, they, oh, there it is. Asked from the top. There's your What's video. I, I'm looking at your blog and I found the video. That's what, that's what you're, I saw you holding something up and it's like, okay, now I get it. That's what it is. It's the droid you're holding up. Yes. Yeah. Very, Very cool. Like oh no. Very cool. Yeah. You know, I have one. That's what I use. I use the Motorola yes, droid. Yes, exactly. We were talking yeah. about that. I was so glad yeah. to know someone who has it so yeah. I can get all the tips and tricks oh, from you. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I, you know, I talk about it nonstop. You can't shut me up about it. And then um, Ed just got his. Are you ready for this? Because see, the Motorola Droid came out in November. I got it right away because I have to be on the cutting, cut, bleeding edge, you know. So, bleeding edge, exactly. Totally. Because I mean, my excuse is I say, well, I review technology. I have to have it. I just don't have a choice. You have to, you know, twist my arm. But in November, <laughs> I, with the day it came out, almost I got the Droid. And then the HTC Incredible just came out like last month, and it was like far better, twice as good, all that. Then. On the 4th of June, the HTC Evo came out, which is like twice as good as that. So, of course, Ed has it. Show it. He's got the HTC Evo. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's amazing. We'll, ha we'll show you. But it basically, it's the same as the Droid. It's just bigger. Mm -hmm. It's just bigger and it works faster. But um, 
but you know, I mean, you've seen them, I'm sure. But anyway, oh, I'll hold it up to the camera. I don't know if you can see that rope down there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you've seen what it looks like, but it's so cool. The pictures that it takes are amazing. It's like okay. eight megapixel camera, and it's got HD video camera in it, and you can actually there's an HDMI cord that you plug in your phone into somebody's HD TV on their wall and watch movies really? in HD. It's crazy. And it has a camera on the front and the back. So you can have video <laughs> telephone calls. It's nuts. It's just nuts. Things are changing so fast. You know, I used to give uh, people advice about what smartphone to buy, you know, phone in general. Now, they shouldn't even call them phones anymore. They're really pocket computers. That's yes, in yes. reality, that's exactly what they are. But um, I used to give them, you know, like once a year, I would change my opinion about which one was the best. And then mm -hmm. it became once every six months and then once every three months. Now, it's like my um, recommendation, I say, is only good for two months. <laughs> every recommendation <laughs> for a phone has a two-month expiration date because, you know, they, this stuff is changing so fast that I, my prediction, I predicted a while ago, it's going to be the phone of the month club. Wow. I mean, literally, you will you will actually get a new you'll you'll have pay a yearly fee or something or monthly fee, mm -hmm. and you'll sign up for a like almost like an insurance plan that's nine ninety five a month or something. You'll sign up for a monthly plan, twenty thirty bucks a month, and what will happen is every month you'll get a new phone, and you open right. it up and you log in and all your information's there, but it'll be a new hardware because you know what people don't even realize. I mean, we think it's so amazing. We're so consumed by how exciting this technology is right now that just came out, the new stuff. But you can't even mm -hmm. imagine what's coming up in six months. What's coming up in six months, for example, is this new network. Before the end of the year, two providers in the US, Metro PCS, believe it or not, and Verizon, those are the two that are gonna have this service called LTE. And <laughs> LTE, I was reading, it's been tested up to 300 megabits per second. So just to give you an idea, okay, your internet connection at home is probably about one megabit per second. If you're paying for the top of the line fastest service you can get, they call it, uh, usually it's like, it's broadband cable modem, they call it 20 megabits per second and you're really getting about 15 to 17. Well, these phones, the LTE has been tested up to 300 megabits per second. That's incredible. Like. 300, really is, 300 yeah. times as fast as your internet at home yeah. on your phone. So I can't even imagine. I know. It's mind-boggling. And then you know how creative humanity is. These computer geeks and programmers, you know how creative they are. What are they going to be able to make your phone do with 300 yes. times yes. the internet speed? And the processors just keep doubling and doubling. They used to double every few years. Now they're doubling every few months. So it, there's no end in sight to the you know, awesomeness that's, that's happening. It's such an exciting time to see technology yeah. evolve. That's why I love technology. I've always loved it, but. Yeah, absolutely. It's great. <laughs> a joy question? Yes. What is uh, it? Can you do video with it? Yeah, it's got a video camera in it. And you know what? I don't oh, even think good. you have to activate it. I think you can just, you can probably just turn it on and use the video camera without even having service. I think. You try it. That, that would yeah, if you sense. Go to, I, that would be great. Because, um, I mean, for me, I've been using my, my cell phone here. I was, mm -hmm. I'm still like old fashioned with that because I was thinking, I was waiting for um, the iPhone to go to Verizon and it just wasn't happening. And I just, and I just thought, I don't want to get another phone yeah. until I can you know, get a smartphone because, you know, just like you, we're doing social media and blogging. I need a smartphone, I do. And um, mm -hmm. I was holding out and then when I won, the droid, I'm like, okay, great. Now I can do everything that I need. Mm -hmm. I can go places and I can tweet it and I can take pictures. I can take video, right. you know, and it just really helps me be, See, my, you know, be the, the social media maven that I am. That's right. <laughs> right. Well, that's Absolutely. all you have to do. I was just showing the camera. If you, um, uh, you need to turn down your speakers just a little bit because we're getting feedback again. But if you hit uh, camera, go into the camera app. And then um, there's a little slider at the bottom that switches it from camera to video camera. And that's it. And then there's a record button. I'll show you when I see you. I'll show, yeah. you, I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was really cool. Yesterday, uh, we went to brunch with some friends, and I was showing him my new phone. And then I told Bruce to 
look up a certain site, which was quick.com, and uh, and then he he looked it up and he brought it up and it was a live stream of us having brunch because I was yeah. filming everyone as we were having brunch and he was sitting yeah. next to me and he was watching what I was filming which live. was right in front of him live on this on this quick.com phone it's got it's got an a I mean the the droid has a regular video camera the the Evo has an HD video camera okay 720p Remember, like, last year, that was, like, the best TV you could buy? Now, the freaking phone has it. The phone is 720p. It's got HDMI out, and it's an HD camera. It's got everything. It's, in it's insane. You know, these, these devices are just amazing. And then um, the... And, yeah, and we're sitting at, at brunch, right? We're sitting in a restaurant, and he's showing me... Because he, he's been mesmerized. Ever since he got this, for the last, like, 36 hours, his, his face has been in it. He's, like, mesmerized by the thing. And I haven't even had a chance to play with it much, except when he has a question. Then I get to look at it for a minute, and then he get, then he takes it hey. back. Well, anyway, because <laughs> it's Android operating system, it's the same operating system as the Droid, but it's just new and improved and better. And oh my gosh, it's amazing. So he's playing with this thing called Quick, and and he's saying, "Look, I'm I'm broadcasting this live to the internet," and he's telling me, "Look on your Droid and see if you can watch it." And I'm like, "I can't watch it. No, that's not gonna be right because it's you know it's probably Flash." And I, right. I was completely forgetting that, yeah, that, that quick is actually made for that. So here I, I touch it, I go to the link, and there it is. I'm watching, on, on my droid, I'm watching the live video of what he's shooting on his camera. It's going up to the internet and back down. <laughs> amazing, just amazing. And everybody at the table is just going, oh my gosh. And you know, another thing that happened, <laughs> we had, uh, this is just with the technology of the, of the cell phones, all of it put together, Ustream. Well, you know, mm -hmm. we broadcast, obviously we're broadcasting the show live on Ustream right now. Yep, good, it's working. Anybody in the chat room? And so, <laughs> anyway, we broadcast the show live every morning, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. New York time, blah, blah, blah. Well, we had, we were playing with Ustream because we could leave Ustream on. You, you could leave it on 24 hours a day if you wanted. And I did. I, I set it up and I left it on and then we went to the grocery store. So we walk four blocks up to the grocery store. We're in the grocery store. And I, I, you know, was waiting. Ed had was checked out and everything, and I was standing there. And the security guard st uh, starts talking to me. And he goes, "What are you looking at?" And I said, "This is my living room." <laughs> I said, "See this video? This is live. This is live video of my living room and my apartment at home. And you can hear it too. The audio. If mm -hmm. someone was in the room, you'd hear them talking." And he's looking at my phone, going, "What? You're watching your <laughs> living room live?" At home on your phone, how do you do that <laughs> on a phone? It's UStream, and I thought yeah. there's an idea right there. You know, home security system via UStream. You could have UStream <laughs> channels all in every room of your house, and you can watch like a nanny cam. Yeah, totally I mean, nanny cam. Yeah. Only problem is everybody in the whole world can watch it too, because UStream is quite public, <laughs> like Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, but it was the technology and, and the creative minds of individuals who think of new uses for it. You know, that's what happens. They, like, they'll invent something for one purpose, but then some clever little person somewhere on the planet comes up with an idea. Well, what, what, we should use it for something else. You know, let's, uh, let's try, right. to, try using it for something else. Okay, we should take a moment, actually, at this point, and thank our sponsors. Yes. <laughs> Because we are so very grateful, let's uh, let's bring up their uh, their stuff here on the screen. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Uh, boom. So first, we want to thank Arvix Web Hosting. A R V I X E. Arvix is our web hosting service, and um, we if if anybody's noticed that our website was down for a day or so here this week, it's because we're switching it to Arvix. We're, we're um, not to mention our previous hosting company was fine, but we love Arvix. It's much better. It's, um, you know, the other one was reliable, but it did have some downtime occasionally. Nothing terrible, but Arvix has never gone down. But the main thing I like about it, there's several things I like about Arvix. One is that it, um, their customer service is beyond belief. When you call them, I don't know how they do it. I think the guy sleeps with his phone under his pillow or something because... You talk, you talk to this guy. I mean, I'm serious. You call it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you pretty much get the same guy. I mean, and he's brilliant. He's technical. He knows how to fix it. 
he will tell you exactly what to do or he'll do it himself for you if you don't know how to do it he'll walk you through it he'll do it he'll explain it to you and their their service is just unbelievable and you're not talking to somebody in you know abroad in some foreign country who doesn't understand you it's it's somebody right here in the US who's right. very technical and he speaks simple ordinary you know American English that we uh, non-technical you know what I mean he can he can understand what you're getting at and he can um, explain it to you and and take care of it for you and, and instantly boom it's fixed so the only reason for the delay in migrating over there is is my own lack of time because I haven't had taken the time to actually do it <laughs> but um, Anyway, we're, we're switching all of our domains because we have many different domains, one for every show and all sorts of things. And we're switching all of them over. And the, actually transferring a domain from one to another is a little bit of an ordeal because you have to approve it and go through all these uh, loopholes or you know, uh, barriers that are just the way this the whole internet is set up because they want to make sure nobody is taking somebody else's domain somewhere else and to prevent fraud and stuff. Right. So that's just normal. But, um, but anyway, once it's in Arvix, everything is wonderful I mean their service is phenomenal it never goes down and they have web um, what do you call it like hosting hosted applications which are programs that you can run on your website to maintain your website um, on the website end of it if that makes sense it's a program that runs on your website so when visitors go to your website they see something you know some certain application or something for example if you want to have your own social network like your own little Facebook for your special interest group, you can create one with this free open source software called Dolphin. Um, what is it called? Boonex. Boonex Dolphin. And literally, on your Arvix account, there's one click. You click this one button, and boom, you just installed it. It's amazing. And if you ever have any problems or questions, you call them up, and they, they're really, really good about helping you figure out what's going on and all that. And it's, that's all completely free. And for a really, really small fee, you, and you go to arvix.com and you'll see all the rates and stuff. It's arvixe.com. But for their one hosting plan, it, you can have, uh, for a small fee, you can have an unlimited number of domains, an unlimited no amount of traffic, bandwidth, uh, unlimited everything for a very small fee. Yeah. So, and, sp and you even get a huge discount if you pay in advance for a year. So that's what we did. We just paid in advance for a year. We have one hosting account and you can have, you know, hundred domain names if you want. Now the domains, obviously each one costs um, a fee to register. One, they give you right. for free though. With your hosting account, they give you one.com absolutely free and they'll continue to register it and renew it for you for free. So it's like, it's just a, a fantastic deal. Yeah, so it's great. That's arvix.com. Well, it's great that you can actually get a live person when you call, so. That's important, that's the most important thing. I mean, everything else is important too, but the fact that I can call somebody if I have a problem and they really fix it, they know what they're talking about. They're not just a call center reading a screen. I mean, I can read the screen myself, you know. Right. They're reading right. the same thing right. I want, right. right? How many times have you, you know, I called Microsoft one time and they said, you know, uh, can you please spell this word Windows? I'm like, <laughs> Is this Microsoft? <laughs> He'd never heard of the word Windows. So anyway, this is not like that. This is real people who are technical. They know what they're talking about, and they can they communicate, and their their service is phenomenal. So that's arvix.com, a r v i x e.com. Check them out. Mm, next, the next one is Dropbox.com, and they're a uh, um, uh, web or back backup service or. Um, <laughs> it's hard to describe. Yeah, it's kind of hard to describe just because there's many uh, variations of the same thing that you can do with it. It's something that really is a whole new category. It's kind of like when the iPhone came out, it transfer it, it changed everything because it's not really like a phone. It's like a TV phone game thing that ha touched the screen thing. It's like new. This this is a, a category transformer. Dropbox is a service that what it does. I think of it, you know, you can think of it as a backup service. You think you can think of it as a file sharing service, but I think of it as all those things, but mainly as like our file server out on the cloud, a file server, our own personal file server out on the internet. But what it does is even more than that. It it has like 
it takes all the files on your computer that you put inside, you put all your file structure inside your Dropbox folder, basically. And then all those files are automatically synchronized instantaneously with all your other computers and all your other, even your phones, your Droid, your Android phones, your iPhones, everything. It's synchronized instantly between them all and the copy of it that they have out on the internet. So in effect, if I have, uh, let's say, you know, we have six computers and three smartphones, right? <laughs> so that's six, that's nine, that's 10 copies. I ha talk about a backup, I have 10 backup copies. I've got one on the cloud and then six computers and, and three phones. I've got a copy of this stuff everywhere. There's like almost no way you could possibly lose it. They even have this service called Rat, uh, Rat Pack or Pack Rat, Pack Rat, that's it. <laughs> for, oh, like, yeah. for like $3 a month or something, you know, a month. Uh, or you pay a yearly fee or something, but it's an extra service. But uh, just for a few bucks, you have basically um, unlimited storage because what happens is it, they guarantee that any file that has been out there, you can, even if it gets deleted, it, when, you know, because when you delete a file, it deletes it from all the computers also. But with this pack rat thing, mm -hmm. you can go back to any version that has ever existed in your Dropbox and bring it back. So it's like, in effect, it's like unlimited. So it's like an attic full of data. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so if you got that document, and you're like, oh, you know, I deleted all that stuff from that guy because I thought I'll never need that because I don't like that guy anymore, <laughs> whatever, you know, and then something comes up and you need that information that was in that one spreadsheet or document or whatever, uh, or that set of pictures or some set of pictures got accidentally deleted or something like that. Doesn't matter. You go out there in that pack rat service and you can find it. You can absolutely find it. It's like bringing something back from the dead, bringing your documents back from the dead. It's amazing. Yeah, we, we believe that everyone should have a Dropbox account because first they give you... It's free. Uh, two gigabytes free. And if you tell your friends about it, they give you up to More. 10 gig free. So... Well, no... We have to be careful of quoting those numbers because it's two gig free and then you can get an extra amount uh, depending on how many you refer up to a certain limit. Right. But go to dropbox.com for all those details. Yeah. But, but you we, can, every we time you refer someone, you get... So first of all, you get two gigabytes free right now. And then every time you refer someone, you get a little bit more. Now, I know that we have... We pay because we use it so much. We, we, we can put our whole show up there. And the other thing that's cool about Dropbox is you can actually get a link that you right click on the file on your own computer and it doesn't matter by the way if it's Windows Mac or Ubuntu Linux it doesn't matter what operating system you use it they have an app for even iPhone Android doesn't matter they have an app for every platform and you like on the computer I right click on the file and it could be a document a spreadsheet a presentation you know PowerPoint it could be a movie a video a picture anything I right click on it and it says get drop or copy Dropbox link or tr copy Dropbox URL right and it copies it to the clipboard. Then I can paste it into an email and I can email you a link, a URL, right? And that link lets you download that document, which could be a document, as I said, or it could be a whole movie. It could be a whole episode of our show. It could be a, an MP3. Anything. It could be anything. Anything right. that you can put on your computer, basically. It's just a file. So um, I can give people copies of really huge files j by just sending them a link mm. they download it now they can't delete the, my file they can't edit it or change it they just get a copy of it right there's another way you yeah. can share folders for that purpose too but it's so flexible yeah. it, and it's super super easy to use two gigabytes is free and then like i said we pay for a hundred gigabyte account which is the max you can get and then we have an extra 16 gig for free because we've referred people <laughs> so we've yeah. got the max that i think they even offer in any case, a total of 116.25 gigabytes or something like that. So we we use it and live by it. I mean, that's just it's just absolutely yeah. mission critical. Well, for not us. just to back your data up, which is very important, and to have the data outside of your home because if something happens in your home, uh, then you can always access it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And the other part is to share, to share with friends. How many times? do you want to share something but it's the file is too big to send over email or mm -hmm. there's, you love this there's movie. obstacles you'd love this movie or this audiobook or something that I have that I downloaded something creative commons licensed material um, like there's a great movie Cita Sings the Blues and it's a two hour movie and it's 
you know, freely shareable. It's not copyright protected from sharing. But how do I get it to you? I can't email you a gigabyte file. You know, mm -hmm. you just can't. You can only get, you can only email ten megabytes. People might not realize you can only email ten megabytes. If it's Gmail to Gmail, I think the limit goes up to twenty twenty five right. giga, uh, megabytes. But if you have a gigabyte file, that it's it's very difficult to share. But with this, I can send you a link. It's not sending you anything, just a link. I can even text message your phone with a link or, or instant message or chat room or whatever. I can send a link to you and you can download it. So anyway, dropbox.com. Check it out. It's free. Also, Mountain Rose Herbs. Tell us about com. Mountain Rose Herbs. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are the uh, sustainable, they're into sustainable farming and, uh, you know, keeping things green and keeping them sustainable so that we can live on this earth for a long time. But they sell uh, all types of uh, products. Uh, I buy a lot of foods from them, like uh, powdered types of uh, single types of foods. Um, so I buy that, but there's also beauty products and bath products, and they're all organic. Uh, they have essential oils. They even have, like, you can buy the containers to keep all this stuff in. And uh, the best part about them is that they're online and you can go to their catalog and uh, uh, the best part is that they're very cheap and they're the cheapest around that I have found and uh, they stand by their products. Uh, they stand by their farmers. They have a whole crew of people going out there to making sure that these farmers have everything they need to keep these products coming in a sustainable way, not in an industrialized a machine type of way uh, so mountain rose herbs is the place to go for all your natural goods natural foods natural products organic sustainable high quality superfoods herbs yeah all sorts of health beauty all sorts of stuff right yeah it's great and you can buy it in great bulk. can you buy it in small quantities too i mean small but it, it might not be small for you but you might want to share it but that's what makes it so affordable is yeah. that you're buying it and i love to buy extra because i when people come over i turn them on to things that they've never been turned on to and uh end up being you know uh, buying it from them, so you buy great once and it lasts forever. So it's Mountain Rose Herbs dot com. Mountain Rose H E R B S dot com, and uh, also you can go to our site breadtv dot com b r e d t v dot com, and then look at the episode of the show notes, and there is um, you'll find link. all the links to all of our sponsors, so you can you can find them easily and go there directly. So we thank them for our for supporting us yes. and. Yeah, and these products, I are. mean, not only right. do <laughs> are they our sponsors, but um, we uh, obviously, from talking so much about them, we believe in all these things. Uh, so that's why we we love them as our sponsor. <laughs> so we're back, Carla. Hello again. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. <sighs> so what else? What else? We talked about technology. We talked about what you've been up to so what's your what's your next uh n where's the next place people can see you or find you or buy your cd um, let's see um besides your website we we uh, uh it's rock uh wait a minute uh let me get it right rockstar life lessons i love that rockstar life lessons.com right yes yes and uh so you have anything, any uh, any gigs coming up that people can? Um, uh, let's see. I just played uh, in Inwood the other night, uh, the other day. Um, but the next gig, I'm going to make music New York on June 21st. Like oh. there will be people playing music all over. That's um, a week from all today. The city. I haven't set anything up yet, but I might be playing somewhere in Inwood, Washington Heights area. Mm. Um, after that, on July. Uh, July 11th, I'll be playing at SIP, which is uptown in Harlem, the SIP Lounge. Nice. And um, I have some other gigs throughout the year. They, and, and then I see that <laughs> they can go to <laughs> rockstarlifelessons.com and then just put in their email address, and they'll they'll get your uh, they'll be on your mailing list, your feed, right? Yes. Cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very and cool. Our, and as far as your songwriting, um, are you writing anything now, or are you working on anything like that? Or with anyone? Um, I'm not actively writing on new songs right now, although um, it is something I do. You know, 
I can hear my I can hear my roommate listening to this in the other room <laughs> next morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I can hear Tim. Hey Tim. Hey Shout Tim. Out to Tim. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing you soon. <laughs> Um, So let's see, Um, right now I've been focused on my music marketing activities, though uh, like songwriting, like I have to, I I feel like I do that in batches, and in February I was doing this thing called the uh, February Album Writing Month where there was sort of like a boot camp challenge where all these different songwriters were writing songs for the month of February, so February and March I was much more... uh, focused on songwriting now I'm working on some new projects actually I'm, I'm working on my own uh, internet TV show and, and working out how that's gonna look like and um, oh, that's really? sort of where my question is these days. You're working on your own internet TV show? Well actually more of a podcast for now. Podcast? It'd be like an audio. Well we're, we're here to help you if you have questions about that too because we've been through oh. a lot <laughs> I, we've tried to make every mistake we could, um, so because <laughs> and every excuse, <laughs> excuse, yeah, every excuse to put it off. That's the biggest thing. People, you know, every you you ask. I I think that if you ask, what was it? We were talking to uh, Mark David Gerson the other day, and he said that that they've done these studies that you, they ask people, um, would you like to write your own book? Eighty three percent of Americans say yes. They ha- they want to write their own book, but how many of them do? How many of them even read a book? But um, right. the, the same thing with a, with a video podcast or any even an audio podcast, but especially video podcast, video net shows, things like that. Um, I'll bet I'll bet anything. The numbers are about the same. That everybody wants to do it, but they don't. And I think there's two big hurdles. One, people are afraid of the camera, which you're not. Obviously, mm-hmm. you're not afraid of the camera. You, you're. The camera loves you. Uh, speaking but of the camera, I, I think it's getting very bright in oh. your room. Is there any way to turn the turn the shade or down? Or yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you're you becoming go. your aura is coming through. You look like a glowing angel. Yeah, right. <laughs> but that's that's just your real there. your real self is coming through. A little better, the yeah. glowing aura angel. Some idiots. <laughs> Anyway, people are afraid of the camera. You're not, but a lot of people are just really afraid of the criticism. You know, they're just, they, you know, emotionally, people are very attached to their, um, I don't know, they get their self esteem from their ego. And if, 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 if even one person said, you know, you, you, you know someone doesn't look gr- the best or whatever, they're, they're really going to be emotionally fragile about it. So that's a real fear. People have, well, the number one fear is public speaking. Hello, that's public speaking. That's it. Right. So in front of the camera, it's public speaking, you know, on steroids. The second big yes, hurdle, exactly. and then the second big hur- hurdle is the technology. Now we have all this, you know, really affordable technology, but putting it together is not as easy as it looks. Even though your freaking phone has an HD video camera in it, and you can, you can take HD video on your phone or any flip device and upload it to YouTube, and actually that's pretty easy. But once you try to do it live. Uh, you know, as soon as you try and add something, a component like doing it live and streaming it up to the internet, that adds a little bit of complexity. And when you try to, especially if you try to do multiple cameras and you want the audio to sound really good and not like a, you know, you don't want it to sound like an amateur YouTube video where you're just, you have a, cam- a camcorder on a tripod because the audio doesn't sound good. So, you know, I mean, we're, we're trying to make it, you know, s- a little bit higher quality. And when you do that, it every little thing of higher quality is 10 times more wires 10 times more equipment you should see we'll have to take a we'll have to take a picture of the studio but you should see we've got like eight monitors and four or five cameras and you you think why is all that necessary but it really is there's a you should when you come over you'll see a lot of wiring in this room yeah (laughs) well part of the reason we're doing all this is to be able to help people to navigate some of the perils of of we're, we're going to do tutorials. Uploading and, and doing all this kind we're gonna of We're going to do work. tutorials on how to create your own video netcast. So that's, <laughs> yeah, definitely. You bet. Yeah, so you can you, you can rely on us as a resource. We'll help you out. It's it's really not hard. But, you know, the ironic thing is that, you know, you, you study and you Google and you research, and you're going to read a lot of stuff on the Internet by professionals, like real professionals in, in television and radio. And, you know, there, there there's a whole genre of, of audio engineers and radio people, professionals, real old pros, right, 
in radio and mm-hmm. in television. And then th- those two actually are, are separate, too, because television is very different than radio and the audio stuff. And they'll, t- I mean, some people will tell you you have to have, you know, a $15,000 TriCaster and you have to have, um, you know, a th- $7,000 camera and all these, you know, and then you need special lighting kits that are hundreds and thousands of dollars and stuff. And the truth is you don't. You no. really don't, and be, and it's not their fault. It's just that things are changing so fast; they're not up to date. Right. You can you can right. actually do things with amazing new technology off the shelf, and we're going to expose that. But you know, where you can actually make a really professional-looking show for like two hundred bucks. I mean, really, really affordable. Well, so, maybe not that. No, little, but yeah, but look at I mean, very little. Yes, we're finding out that you know, if you do it in a studio like this, you don't need all that stuff you can just use a computer with one of these new uh, webcams some of the new webcams are um, a tenth of the cost and have more higher resolution video than the high-end camcorders so it's different you know it's yeah. just it's just interesting. it depends on your needs of course but uh, I mean you can get it all done with a very s- small budget and the other sure. thing is that people you know you 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 figure out very quickly that audio is everything 90% of the show is audio, so the audio has to sound good. People, they, they turn on a video and then they go and do their email and do other things and just listen in the background anyway. So you have to, if, if the audio is bad, people won't listen long. They won't even leave it on long. And also, a lot of the audience will listen to the audio version anyway. They're going to listen to it on their iPod, their MP3 player, whatever their their phone, their device. They don't want to. They don't necessarily need to download the whole entire video file. They'll just download the audio part, and uh, and or even if they're at their computer, they'll be doing other things. And just that's what we do. We do all the time. We're constantly listening to something. It may or may not be a video. It may just be audio only. Even if it is a video, though, we'll just play it, and then we're doing other things, and we're just listening in the background. Mm-hmm. So. And you're, what you're uh, wanting to do, is it uh, related to music, I'm assuming? Yes, 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 yes. Um, as a music marketing consultant, I teach musicians how to market themselves. So oh, um, wow. it would be primarily podcasts and, and audio and video of uh, different topics that are important to them. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a great way to start and to keep your name out there. I mean, the more... Uh, your name is out there the the higher rankings on Google when they do searches for the type of music or the artist etc yeah you want to speaking of that since this kind of like all goes together I wanted to um, to announce a few things we're we're working on uh, multiple different shows and uh, let me see here if I've got my here it is um, our list of shows you're going to want to stay tuned at breadtv.com and breadmedia.com in general because we're going to be um, doing a whole bunch of shows about topics like this. Like, um, <coughs> even though we're here in, you know, we have our studio set up already, so doing additional shows, there's very little investment. It's just different shows for different types of things. So, obviously, mm-hmm. this is our live, unedited, unscripted, raw, coffee, chit chat show, whatever. You know, it's kind of very casual, off the cuff. And it's actually really good practice for us. For so yeah. when we get Julia Roberts to to come and sit in this chair, we'll you know hopefully have our act together better. <laughs> so it's good <laughs> practice to do this every day. Try it. Try broadcasting it live and and up on YouTube and Ustream every single day. It's it's very rare that that happens. So um, you know very few people do it because it's it's very involved. So yeah. anyway. Um, we're doing this. This is the live thing. Now there are a couple, a couple new shows I want to tell you about. One, uh, another one that's very casual is going to be called One Tweet, OneTweet.com, and that's very specialized. It's just going to be me talking about my Twitter, <laughs> and you're on Twitter, so you can relate. Okay. <laughs> so I have my, I call my Twitterati, <laughs> my peeps. Um, you know, my Twitterverse, my Twitter, my Twitterverse, right? I have actually, you know, I just. Anyway, I, it, it, it's just a number, but I've over 11,000 followers, so it's really cool. It's really exciting. Okay. I love it because I, I love tweeting, and I love whenever I have, I call it a profundity, whenever I have a thought that I think, this is, well, to me, it's interesting. So I tweet it, and some people, you know, one or two people think it's interesting, so it's cool. So what mm-hmm. I'm going to do, this is going to be an experiment, but I'm going to do this show called One Tweet, and it's just me talking about my tweets. 
I'm going to be basically audio tweeting, audio video tweeting my stream. So I'm going to talk about each one of my tweets and what I said and why I said it and what it's about in just a little bit more than 140 characters. And I'm also going to be reading their at replies from the, the you know people who had sent me replies back that they gave me a great question or a tip or a suggestion or more information or ask you know whatever. And um, so that's going to be that. Just basically my audio video tweet stream. The next one is a show called Absotechly, and this is going to be really cool. It's going to be an interview show where we're, it's all technology, though. But the, my take on technology is always personal technology made easy. So it's going to be where I'm going to be interviewing somebody from a you know technology company or uh, somebody who's very big in technology, and I'm going to be asking them, you know, interviewing them about technology and stuff like that. But it's you know, no matter how technical they speak, I'm going to be translating it for the average everyday person. So it's going to be very cutting edge and all about technology. And then, um, you know, we're, the Bruce Wagner show is going to be the one when we get, you know, Tom Hanks and Julia Roberts. And when we get really VIP celebrities and things like that, that's going to be the high production one that we do when we get people like that. We're going to do a Spanish language show. That it's going to host. And show the Edward Hell. He speaks Spanish as his first language, so that's going to be fun because there's a huge global audience and market for Spanish language television. Yeah. So and I already have lots of um, followers, and I have <laughs> all everything I need. I just need to do it. We <laughs> taped we taped a 15, was it like a 15 or 30 second little announcement that he's going to do this show, and he, he's got like 100 times more followers immediately from that than we do on the show that we actually do. So that's going to be a huge worldwide audience, especially Mexico and Spain and all of you know Central and South America, and all the Spanish language, Spanish speaking countries, phenomenal demand. So that's going to be a, a production show too, that where we have you know VIP guests obviously speaking in Spanish. Then another one called the Free Culture Show, which is all about free culture, about uh, Creative Commons license, free open source software, things like that. Educating people about that because a lot of people don't know about that. But here's the one: the I'm going to do one called the Computer Tutor Show, and it's going to be basically the the you won't really see me. I think you're going to just see my screen, and I'm going to each little there'll be tiny little bite episodes and each one is going to be a tutorial about how to do something um, mm -hmm. how to do like common tasks that so a surprising number of people do not know how to do so mm -hmm. basic tasks and a lot of it will be platform independent in other words browser based that you can do on um, Ubuntu Linux Windows or Mac and then the ones that are platform dependent will be based on Ubuntu Linux because you know, I'll go into all the details about why I prefer that operating system. And then he's going to do one oops, called The Frugal Show because we call him Dr. Frugal. He's yeah, we've he's done, we've done, gifted. <laughs> yeah, we've done other audio podcasts on that and there are um, lots very, of people who are interested in very that. Very popular, but he's, he's gifted in this. He can find a bargain. Like he, he'll put the, the most frugal people on the planet to shame. He's <laughs> unbelievable bargain shopper. So he's going to do... Uh, sort of like I do, I'm going to do with the computer tutor thing. He's going to do the Frugal Show, which is about it's going to be like a screencast, I think, of of how he does his online shopping and how he finds insane bargains. I think that's going to be really popular. And then um, a couple more we'll announce later. But yeah. anyway, that so we're going to be well, doing all kinds of shows. I have uh, well, Tim Moss is on on the chat. He just says hi, guys. <laughs> love the show. Hi, Tim. I love him. <laughs> He's going to be on later this week. We're going to talk. We're going to nail that you? down. <laughs> hey. So, oh, uh, and by the way, you know, because you're right here, we can also, we'll talk offline, but, um, you know, you could even do your show here in the studio, maybe. We could talk about that, too. So, because we've already oh, got okay. it all set up, you know, hell, well, I mean, heck, oops, heck, we're on the internet, we can say that word, but um, we're going <laughs> to, <laughs> beep, <laughs> we got censored, but, um, but no, we, we already have the whole thing set up, so it might be possible that we could work together like that, too. But anyway, for the rest of the audience, if you're, you know, who are interested in doing this, we're going to definitely be talking more about um, how we set it up. We'll probably do a whole series about how to set up uh, a netcast, how to set up your own show. So, you hear that beep? That means we're out of time. Wow, that <laughs> was fast. <laughs> time yeah. flies. Well, it's been great having you. Thanks for coming and joining us, Carla. <laughs> And uh, you want to give a um, gratuitous self-promo for yourself before we get offline? Sure. Sure. I would say, um, well, keep an eye out for Rockstar Life Lessons TV. 
if you visit my blog at rockstarlifelessons.com, you will be... You will get all- <laughs> Go ahead. You can keep talking. Oh, okay. And um, no, no. that's pretty much it. I'm, you know, I'm learning a lot from you guys, and I look forward to doing more. Okay. Great. Well, we're happy to have you. Your bright, shining smile mm-hmm. and face early in the morning. Thank you for joining us. All right. Lots of love. We'll see you soon. See Thanks you guys in the chat room. Bye. Bye.